So again, it's the three of us and one guy going north. Guy goes north, no problem. Dog hangs out. We start going south, he starts following. We figure he probably does this all the time. You know, 20 minutes tops, he's gonna turn around. 20 miles later, this guy's still with us. We call his owner, leave a message, get a voicemail back from him saying, uh, without any panic in his voice whatsoever, in a very heavy Virginian accent, saying, Howdy, Art Jennings, call him about the doll. Bye. Okay. Next time I get service, I call him back again. I'm like, now your dog's done. Hold on, hold on one quick second here. All right. Are you lying on my cigarette? I might have to do that. All right. Go ahead. So, uh, okay, back up just to where the guy, uh, where the guy calls. Yeah, where he calls you. Okay. So the guy calls. Um, no, no. Uh, shoot. What did I say? Panic. No panic in his voice whatsoever. <laughs> He uh, says in a very heavy Virginian accent, Hi, this is Arden Jennings. Call him about the dog. Bye. So next night when I have reception again, I give him a call again. And I say, hey, your dog's now done 40 miles with us. Um, would you like to pick up your dog? <laughs> give me a call when you get this. I got no phone call back. Um, ice pack tried calling. No phone call back. And now he's done just shy of 60 miles with us. And uh, I've checked my messages a couple times, none from this gentleman. I don't have one from him either. So we'll be heading to Downville, at which point I believe I'm gonna leave him off at the fire department and let them figure it out from there. Although he is a heck of a hiking companion. I was gonna say, you gonna be able to leave him? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that was my question exactly. <laughs> he might be getting, he needs a new collar anyway. <laughs> you think he's a Virginian dog? Oh yeah. He, it says he's from Amherst. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Yes. Story of me and my dog. <laughs>